Guy Martin is learning about autonomous vehicles and is turning his attention to their origins. Because you said, right, we need to do a bit of AI history, you need to do a bit of swatting up. All right, then. I have found a new song by your favourite artist. You'd think, wouldn't you, everything is going to be in the, the last 10 years. I would have thought. No. I was wrong. We hope to meet you again very soon. We've got pictures. We've got more pictures. Um, oh, no. Sorry, wrong way. Look, these will look right. Cutting edge, don't we? Little remote. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, so, um, 1947. Dr. Gray Walter, good mates with Alan Turing, built this tortoise, which is the first AI vehicle. A mechanical tortoise with an electronic brain which functions like the human mind. Would move about under its own steam, chasing light. Using that there, photocell. It can also negotiate obstacles. When it hits an object, the pressure on the shell causes a short circuit of the photoelectric cell mechanism and the tortoise moves at random until it is free of the obstacle. And if its battery went flat or knew it was getting near to flat, it would go to its charging pod, charge itself up. I thought that was amazing when I first did that. Anyway, right, next picture. The next major advance came in 1971. Britain's Road Research Laboratory invented a system which could drive better than a human. Look, no hands. Sometime in the future, they say, every vehicle on a main road network could be taken by remote control all the way to its destination. And what that would do is just follow a line in the road. You know, like a bit like a glorified scale electrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah go all day. Keep congestion down, keep the traffic moving. What's the downside to that? But development was stopped on the grounds of cost. But yeah, the government said, a bit dear that, two dear. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah, nothing really happened then until the late 90s. The next AI landmark came in 1997, when chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov played a computer. IBM's Deep Blue. Our man here, he's nothing to do with it. He's just switching the computer on. The game captivated the world's press. Whoa! D2, D4, highly unusual. And the machine won. Go on, let's have another picture of him. Not a happy camper. Deep blue. Obviously went through all the permutations, algorithms and all that sort of gubbins and um, whooped him. A few years later, IBM's Watson beat two champions at an American quiz show. That same brain is now used in an autonomous vehicle. Yeah, Watson ended up in Ollie and that's the first AI bus. That was only last year. Hi, everyone. My name is Ali. Using voice recognition is work out what you want and then take you there. Whilst taking other traffic into account and traffic lights into account, that's, that's amazing, that's amazing. By the way, I like your bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the end of my history lecture. Thanks for listening. You took it all in, I'm sure. That is only the thin end of the wedge. There's a lot more to come, a lot more to come. Thank <laughs> you.